I think ever since we're kids, we have this innate need to build and to create, whether it be houses or have this need to create something that's ours. And so I think architecture has offered me a fountain that I can then produce something that puts my mark on the world. I've always been drawing buildings. I've always been trying to understand why buildings work, how buildings work, and how can I make my own buildings. I've always wanted to be an architect. So I want to build something and the accomplishment, like when you finish this, you feel amazing. Architecture, frankly, is not just like about buildings. It's about being creative. It's an artistic major. Why not make drawing? Why not be it like be part of that drawing and say this is my drawing um, or my building, my art? I think my favorite part is that basically every architectural project is just a puzzle to be solved. And there's so many different ways, but when you find that perfect way, it's a perfect fit and it all kind of falls into place. I've always been interested in science and art, so I think it kind of where those two meet and just I don't know, think about every day a building is used by everyone in it and that is basically their life. So you're designing something to fit their life. You know, we're wired as people to be both emotional and rational. And what I appreciate about the architectural profession is that it's right in the middle and uh, there's endless possibilities. That's what makes it fun every day. The architect is really responsible for the design and planning of buildings and structures and the places and spaces that we inhabit. And on a day-to-day -day basis, the architect can be involved in, a, in really a wide range of activities from working with clients to drawing construction documents, building models, working with 3D renderings. But in the end, it's the architect that really manages and leads the design process and is really responsible for the creative vision for a building. Architecture school is an opportunity for students to express their creative nature, but it also has a good deal of concrete, practical uh, experience. It also teaches you how to learn new things, which is kind of interesting. And I think it really inspires you to even want more to learn, to constantly be learning more. Uh, and I think that's the best, the best thing about it. A typical day in school would consist of classes, which were like history, theory of architecture, all these things. And then there'd be a portion of the day, a large portion, which was studio, like design work, where you're sitting there with the professor, like one-on-one, -on -one, or with, your stu with other students, and you're making models, you're making drawings, you're talking about ideas and concepts. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's all fun work. Like, it's incredibly fun to design buildings, make models, you know, work with all these peers and learn from them, you know, day and night. What's wonderful about architecture school is it's the precisely, maybe the only time in your life where you get to explore ideas and not be constrained in any way. And that's really the fun of it. Being in a room full of creative people, like studio, is, is just amazing. We have 25 kids in our studio right now and there's 25 answers and they're all different and they're all unique. So to become a licensed architect, you first need to obtain a professional degree in architecture. And here at COD we offer students the first two years of that professional degree. And then we help our students transfer into university architecture programs. Our architecture program at the College of DuPage is unique because we focus exclusively on the first two years of an architectural education. In doing so, we can offer students small class sizes, individual attention. All of our studio courses are taught by licensed professionals. We have a rigorous design studio curriculum that prepares students to have a strong portfolio for transfer. I came to study at COD because I knew that there were great professors who could start my career off. They not only help you and teach you about the process of design and how to design, but they also teach you the skills and the technical parts of it too. And then offer me a great opportunity to transfer to very renowned colleges within two years. The studios are really nice, honestly. You have your own desk space all the time. It's consistent within the second year studio. It's just home away from home. There's been a tremendous investment by this community to give students some of the best spaces. In fact, you know, the funny thing is is that uh, the, uh, the design studios you have here are often far better than what you'll find when you go to a four-year institution. The coolest thing to do is like coming in when a project's due and having something and talking about your project in front of your peers and your teacher. You get feedback from these critiques that help you become better as a designer and almost, build, for me, gain more confidence. And like, okay, I can do this. And, I can go further. 
Our design studios culminate in a final review where we invite professional architects to come in and be guest jurors and critique the students' work and give the students feedback on their design projects. The final review is valuable for students because it allows them to develop their professional presentations. It also allows the students to get feedback on their creative work and it connects our students to working design professionals within the industry. The ability to actually tap into the surrounding community, the business community, with other architects who are practitioners rather than just being academics is something that you rarely find in uh, typical four-year institutions, for example. We've been able to establish very strong transfer partnerships with university programs in our area. We've had COD students transfer to architecture schools both locally and throughout the country. And some of our students have been accepted into some of the top tier architecture programs in the nation. Now, COD is a great uh, place to uh, transfer to another architecture school because um, we have great relationships with um, multiple universities like U of I, IIT, Bowling Green. That when you get in, you're as a junior. And we heard on multiple occasions that students, um, past students, that excel in their program. The amount of information we learn through the software we've used, um, the design processes, it, it really helped me move forward and stand out at Bowling Green um, and take more of a leadership role when it came to projects with other students. And so College of DuPage offered me a chance to build up my portfolio and come up with some really creative projects which then helped me transfer to other colleges. The faculty here are great and they know the schools in architecture um, where students really are going to end up ultimately. So they make the transfer process very easy and, and streamlined. If students go to a junior college prior to going to a five-year institution, they have the advantage, one, financial advantage, obviously, of not spending as much for two years of college, but they also have the advantage of having a different approach. So they're not, they go in with a fresher idea about what they're seeing. I advise young people to not do all their education in one place. The opportunity to do two years in one place, to finish that four-year degree somewhere else, and move on to possibly graduate work in a different institution is precisely the right equation. And certainly the COD program is a wonderful platform to move on to finish a four-year degree or go into master's work and uh, be very successful. If a student's interested in the creative process or the design of buildings, then they should become an architect. If on the other hand they're interested in the building process, then they could pursue a degree in construction management. At COD we offer both of those paths. We have degrees in construction management, architectural technology, which is our drafting degree, and pre-architecture, which is a degree that allows students to complete the first two years of an architectural education and then transfer into a university program. Going to COD, you know, introduced me to architecture, which I was not familiar with and not planning on taking in the first place and really developed a love for architecture and design and the history of architecture. In a way that going to a larger school and being one of a thousand students would not have been the same experience. A good architect is one who has a curiosity about things because it covers so many avenues of life. You know, as humans, we all live, work in buildings and the buildings are, are various types of things. And uh, so to have as broad an interest as possible, everything from science and engineering to the artistic end of things, I think is what makes you a well-rounded professional. The resources at College of DuPage are excellent, and I would encourage any prospective student to take advantage of them, really think big about what they want to do in their career, and know that you can get that here at COD. To learn more about the architecture program at College of DuPage, visit www.cod.edu architecture. <laughs>